Hello friends, in this video we will learn the theory of an OR gate and we will design it on breadboard. Here is the logic symbol of an OR gate. An OR gate has two, two input terminals. Here we have defined A and B and out one output terminal. There are also OR gates more than two input terminals. So from this truth table we can see when we apply 0 at terminal A and 0 at terminal B then output will be 0. Again when we apply 0 at terminal A, 1 at terminal B then output will be 1. That means in an OR gate if any of the input is 1 then we will get 1 at the output. IC7432 is the IC number of OR gate. From this IC diagram, we can see there are four OR gates in an OR gate IC. We will use this first OR gate. That means pin number 1 and 2 will be the input of the OR gate and T will be the output of the OR gate. So for this, we need an, a breadboard, an OR gate IC, a 100 ohm resistor and an LED and some connecting wires. So here is the 7432 OR gate IC. Here we can see that there is a cut mark in this IC. So when we keep this IC like this, by keeping this cut mark to the left side, then the first pin will be pin number 1. Then second one is 2 and like this, then this last one is 7. That means this one is 7. Okay, this one is 7. Then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The last one is 14. So we have to keep this pin number 7 as ground and 14 as VCC. That means we have to connect this VCC pin to positive terminal of our battery and this 7 pin number 7 to negative terminal of our battery or ground terminal. At first, we will insert the IC into the breadboard by keeping this cut mark to the left side. Then this pin will be pin number 1, then second one 2, and this one 7. So we have to ground this pin number 7. So we will connect a wire from this, and then we will connect it to this first row. That means this row up to this. So that we will use this row as ground. We will connect the negative terminal of our battery to this row. Then we will connect the pin number 14 to this row and we will use this row as VCC and we will connect the positive terminal of our battery to this row. Then from this diagram we can see that pin number 1 and 2 are the inputs of the OR gate and 3 is the output of the OR gate. So we will connect an LED at pin number 3 to observe the output. So for this LED we need a 100 ohm resistor. So we will connect the 100 ohm resistor to pin number 3 of the IC that is the output of first OR gate. Then we will connect the another terminal of our resistor to any point of breadboard. Then from this point we will connect a, an LED, the positive terminal of our LED and the negative terminal we will connect it to ground by a single stand wire. Okay, now we will connect two wires at the input that is pin number 1 and pin number 2. Okay, now we have to connect our battery. Here I am using a 4 volt battery. You can use a battery of 4 volt or 4.5 volt or 5 volt or 6 volt. It is recommended to use a 5 volt battery. You can also use this type of 9 volt battery because these are commonly available in the market. But if you directly use this 9 volt battery, sometimes the IC may be damaged. So that's why it is recommended to convert this 9 volt battery to 5 volt battery by using different techniques. If you don't know, then you can watch our video. The link is given in the description of this video. Now I am going to connect the positive terminal of this battery that is this plus to our VCC row that, that we have considered and we have to 
connect this negative terminal of our battery to this row. Now our circuit is ready. Now we will observe the output. From this truth table, we can see when A is 0, 0 means we have to connect this A to ground. And when B is also 0, that means we have to connect it to ground. Then the output should be 0. So here we can see output is 0. That means the LED is now off. For the second case, when A is 0, that means we have to connect it to ground. It is already connected to ground. Then B is 1. Once 1 means we have to connect it to VCC row. So we will connect it to VCC. Now output should be 1. That is why the LED is now on. For the, now for this third set of input, when A is 1, now we have to connect A to 1. That means A to our VCC row and B terminal to 0 then the output is also 1 then the for the last set a is 1 b is 1 that is a is connected to vcc and b is connected to also vcc so our output is 1 so thank you for watching this video if you like our videos then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can also buy electronics components projects sensors modules from our website www.tpvtechnology.com thank you